In this video I'll be showing you how to build and obtain the free Wonder Wharf on Shino Numa. There are three different parts that you need to pick up around the map. The first part, if you come over to the fishing hut and as soon as you enter into the fishing hut, if you turn to the right and look on these bookshelves, you'll find the first bit here. Once you have that part, head over to the comms room and if you turn around from the comms room hut and look over in the boggy swamp area, you will see there is green box here which is a radio tower. Walk up and interact with that radio tower. You will then need to end the current round that you are on and at the start of the next round you will then have a lockdown seat. This is where you need to protect this radio tower from being attacked by zombies, storm kriegers and boom shriekers. You simply need to kill all these enemies and just make sure that's protected for a certain period of time. After that is finished you can then walk back over to that radio tower generator and interact with it to pick up the part again. For the second part head over to the comms room and there are two parts that we need to pick up in here. Coming over to the left hand side inside the hut, if you come over to this shelf here you will notice this grey radio with a little bulb on it. Simply interact with that to pick up the vacuum tube bulb and then going from here into the next room you should notice on this table over here there is a trap piece sitting there once you've got both of these parts head over to the storage hut and inside the storage hut you will want to come around the back of this wall here and activate the trap get two or three zombies to walk into the electric trap by the doorway and this will blow out the fuse inside the trap box you will then want to interact with the trap box again to place the part that you picked up earlier inside of it this will then immediately reactivate this trap so i highly recommend that you put this trap part inside of the trap at the beginning of a round. Then come over to the buildable table for the Wonder Wharf over here and you should see two light bulbs on it. One of them will be lit up and the other one won't be lit up just yet. Once again with that repair trap now, just wait for zombies to run into the electric trap and die. You'll need about six to seven zombies here. Once you've done that, if you look at the table again, you should notice that both bulbs are now lit up. And for the final part, you have to wait until round 15. The reason you have to wait until round 15 is this is when Zabala will spawn in. She is the mini boss at the map. You want to head over to the bottom floor of the main hut specifically over to this tester coil area over here which is just outside of the door that leads towards the storage hut you then simply want to stand next to this tester coil and wait for Zabala to do her electrical attacks on you my advice is that you wait for her to go through into the ground and as soon as she does that just stand next to the tesla coil and she will land three different attacks there on you and as soon as she does that move out of the way and this will charge up the tesla coil you only need three to four of these attacks in in order to fully charge this tesla coil up and once it's done you should notice on the table that the little bulb is now activated and you can interact with it to pick it up now that you have all the parts finally head back over to the storage hut and go over to the buildable table from earlier and interact with it in order to build the wonder Wharf. you can now pick up the wonder Wharf and use it within your game for free otherwise that's all there is to this guide i hope you guys found it useful if you need another guide to shino numo or vanguard zombies there will be links to those down in the description as well as the pinned comment otherwise i'll see you all in the next video.